Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nube, and I hope I find you well wherever you are. Uh, it's a Friday. I know that many of you are, are winding up their business at work and preparing for a bumper weekend. Uh, I don't want to take much of your time, but I decided that after I keep on getting several messages from people who are confused as to what to do, in as far as they are sojourning from the Zimbabwean exemption permit to the next phase of their legalization uh, or of the legalization of their status here in South Africa, I decided that I should respond before I also go to the weekend. Uh, I have been sent messages from several people who are worried that they might have done the wrong thing by applying for one form of permit or another that they might have done the wrong thing by not applying or that they might have done the wrong thing or that they might be about to do a wrong thing and they want to know the exact uh, or the right thing to do so that they can continue to be legal in South Africa what's worrying is that Many of those who are on the ZEP, who have not yet done anything, have time running out, yet they keep on being confused from one corner to another, and they want to know what exactly they should do. This is what I want to talk about. Uh, before I go ahead, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and shade uh, you'll forgive me uh, I have a bit of a, a, a flu so here and there uh, my voice may be faint or I'll need maybe to sneeze or do uh, something like that to try and relieve myself of the flu but uh, what has worried me most is that there are people who have forwarded messages to me of people telling them not to apply for waivers of people telling them that if they have applied for waivers they should just wait and do nothing of people telling them that if they've applied for waivers and general work visas they have done the wrong thing because they'll be kicked out of south africa of people telling them that the only thing they need to do is to apply for a zip extension of people telling them that they must pay as much as 1,500 or 2,000 each to sponsor a court case that is uh, claimed to be running in the first phase to something like 22 million rands. They have been told that there is a court case that is impending, that there is a fight against the cancellation of the ZEP and that they must pose that. This is a string of messages that I've been getting from different people who are on the ZEP and they want to know what exactly they should do. There are also people who have been told that those who are applying for the ZEP extension are only pensioners. People who have decided to leave South Africa next year. So these are the things that I want to talk about. First and foremost, uh, it must be made clear that the only court case that was made on behalf of ZEP holders to success was the case of the Helen Sussman Foundation. This is the case that the Ministry or the Department of Home Affairs has lost in every court from the Pretoria High Court all the way to the Constitutional Court. And this case had nothing to do with whether the decision to cancel the ZEP was wrong or not. It had everything to do with whether that decision was a rash decision, whether that decision was taken without consultation, whether that decision was constitutional based on the fact that it was taken without consultation of stakeholders, of ZEP holders. So, the court ruled that 
there was no consultation with those that are involved in the ZEP, whether directly or in the indirectly, as stakeholders or as holders of the ZEP, and as communities dealing with people who are ZEP holders. The court ruled that, therefore, because there was no consultation, the decision taken is unconstitutional, it is null, and it is void. The court didn't rule on whether the ZEP should be cancelled or not. That means that if consultation had been done, the court would, would have not intervened. So we have to be clear about that. The cancellation of the ZEP is coming. We don't know when, but what is going to happen is that there should be consultation. If that consultation brings forth findings that the ZEP should be cancelled and people should move to mainstream permits, that decision will stand and no court will then rule against that. We need to be very sure about that. We need to be very clear about that. So, stop paying your hard end cash to people who then claim that they are to fight a court case for you. The Helen Sussman Foundation in fighting that court case did not demand any cent from holders of the ZEP. They didn't demand anything. Many holders of the ZEP didn't even know that there was such a thing happening until they heard that a court case had been held. Several other court cases that have been taken to court uh, demanding permanent residence permit for ZEP holders, demanding all sorts of things for ZEP holders were lost in court. So, and those, some of them people paid, others people didn't pay. But what must be of note is that they lost those people lost their court cases. So, don't be misled by people who want to make money out of you because they know that this is the final push. And they will claim that, don't, claim, don't apply for this, don't apply for this, apply for the ZEP extension because they want you to remain called ZEP holders so that you give them capital to go and make money claiming that they are fighting court cases for you. These are people who are also asking for donations from corporates. They are asking for donations as NGOs from foreign funders, claiming that they want to fight your case. And at the same time, they are hoodwinking you into losing as much as 1,500 to 2,000 rands, claiming that they want to fight for you. They know that if you apply for a waiver and you get it, and you go on to apply for a general work visa, you now are just like any other permit holder. And then they want to threaten you, they want to scare you and say that once you have moved there, the, your permit will be cancelled and you will be having nowhere to go because you will be treated alone. So the South African government wants to uh, place you out of the ZEP so that they can then cancel your, 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 your permit. The same South African government that gave you the ZEP when these so-called organizations were nowhere to be seen. Some of these organizations were formed after the cancellation of the ZEP because they saw that there was an opportunity for them to pick it back on the court case by the Helen Sussman Foundation so that they become relevant. And now they want to say that the government wants to put you uh, on a side so that they, it deals with you alone. What is it that you would have done? Because the government cannot just target you. So, you have to be very careful. Don't fall into the trap of people who want to make money out of you. Anybody who comes to you and says, we want to assist you as ZEP holders, fight court cases, but therefore you must pay this amount without you approaching them you must know that these people are just out there to swindle you of your money. And you won't have anywhere to go to demand that money. There's no court case that is being fought other than the court case of the Helen Sussman Foundation. 
which we all know has been won, and therefore the ZEP was extended, and there is a new consultation process that has been uh, put in place by the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Leon Schreber. Then there are also <coughs> people who tell you that if you apply for the ZEP extension, it means that next year when it expires, you'll be expelled from South Africa, you'll be deported. Also, they are fear mongering. The ZEP extension is there because of the court case that was going on. The minister wanted to say, okay, let's extend the ZEP as per the courts to the 29th of November 2025, pending the consultation process that is going to happen. And the Minister of Home Affairs, the current Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Leon Schreper, said recently that the court has said that there should be consultation, which means that the decision on whether, on whether or not to cancel the ZEP has been suspended. He has not yet taken a decision. Whatever decision is going to come will come from that pro consultation process. If the process says the ZEP is no longer needed. Then those findings will be brought forth and reasons given and the next step taken. There is no way that the South African government is going to outlaw or criminalize people who are legally here when it is busy trying to fight illegal migration. There are several migrants who are already here without any form of documentation and the government is struggling to try and deal with them. There is no way that it can then add a hundred and 80,000 more people who are legal into that illegality. So the minister has said that he is setting up again the migration board. The, 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 yeah, it's called the, it's a consultation uh, mechanism. It's called the migrant advisory board, migration advisory board, which is going to advise the minister first on what to do with the court case and the, the judgment by the courts, how do they consult, how long should the consultation process take, what should they do with the court cases, what should they do with the ZEP. So at the end of the day, there is no decision which has been taken because the minister also added that there is no way that he can go to this consultation process already with a predetermined decision, which means there is nothing known as to what is going to happen to those who applied for the ZEP extension at the expiry of that permit in November 2025. So don't be scared. Take a decision on your own on which one you think will work for you. If you want a general work visa, apply for a waiver. Then if you have been granted the waiver, apply for a general work visa. If you decide that you want to go the way, maybe for financial reasons uh, of a ZEP extension, just go there. Don't be led into fear mongering. Don't be misled into parting with your hard end 1,500 or 2,000 rands. Sponsoring people who claim to be going to fight for you because they want you to remain on the ZEP extension so that they'll say, we have 50,000 clients and therefore these are the people that we are representing, yet knowing that each of you has paid them 1,500, which means these people have something like uh, 750,000 or 7 million or whatever, depending on the number of people that they are representing. We have seen people buying cars. We have seen people buying houses using your money while you continue to wallow in poverty. Don't be misled into paying anything that claims to be representing you in court unless and until as an individual or as a collective you have said you want to fight a certain case in court and therefore you must be the ones looking for lawyers don't be misled by people some of them are not even lawyers they claim to be lawyers because they want to hoodwink you into losing your money there are people that were swindled 14,000 rands each by a guy who claimed that he was fighting their court cases uh, in as far as the ZEP extension is concerned, or is the, in as far as the ZEP cancellation is concerned. And the guy is nowhere to be seen. He's not the only one. There are more than five of those. 
And we kept advising people, don't do this. And they said, they thought that they knew better. But at the end of the day, they came to us after they lost that kind of money. And I'm saying, don't be misled. Follow the case of the Helen Sussman Foundation. And the minister is going to consult. So there's nothing to fight because the minister said that it's all systems go. On the consultation process, he is setting up the migration advisory report which is going to determine, but it's going to determine based on the results of the consultation process. We don't know how long the consultation process is going to take. So what are these people fighting for? Because there's been no decision taken as of yet. The court has said there should be a consultation process. The minister has agreed to consult. So what is it that people want to fight for? So please, this is what I decided I have to tell you about. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this video and share it. Enjoy your weekend.